back to when I was a young law student. I remember watching a clip when then President Clinton was nominating Deval Patrick for the head of the Assistant uh, Attorney General for Civil Rights in Washington. And I remember watching that. And I remember his statement, and I, probably, I won't do it justice, but he said that he stood there up on the shoulders of so many people. And it's really it crystallized for me how to, how to articulate the support that you give to candidates and, and what you've done for me. I'm standing up here tonight with this governor at this podium at this moment because of the work of so many people in this room. And I truly appreciate everything that you've done for me. And I hope that I will continue. I hope I have and I hope I'll continue to return on that investment. And I, I joke. that are in the room tonight. And if I had all the time in the world, I'd go around and I'd tell the story about every one of you here who've helped me along the way. But I need to introduce just a couple of people. One is my former law, student, law school study partner, now wife of over 10 years. <laughs> and my daughter, Anna and Emma, and my son, William. I do look forward to continue to work with my friend Governor Deval Patrick, uh, and I and I hope that I will continue to work hard for this district and utilize the relationships that have been de developed within the administration and within the legislature. Because much like life, politics is very much a relationship-driven business, and your word counts for everything. And I know you're here tonight probably for one or two reasons: either you wanted to see Blackrock or you wanted to hurt the governor. So. <laughs> I appreciate it. But let me just tell you very quickly a couple of things about your governor. I've known now four governors, but I can tell you that this governor is the hardest working and the smartest chief executive, bar none. Bar none. should have. A little speed in his step and a little fear in his eye. Because we, the, the, the one thing we fear the most is that we will not be able to make a difference in the short time that you have given us to do such a tremendous opportunity, given us such a tremendous opportunity. It really is. But you want your elected officials to be a little afraid because it shows the great appreciation they have for the honor that you've given us to serve you, to serve the public. So I'm not going to introduce, the governor and I have a little thing after, you know, on the campaign it's always been my thing to introduce myself to the governor. And then when he got elected I kept introducing myself. He said, Gary, you were with me earlier, will you stop introducing yourself? <laughs> so I'm not going to introduce myself, but I am going to introduce Your Excellency, Governor Deval Patrick. 